Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence, and uh, it's another story time, so it's not exactly an instructional video, but more of a, a story that has something to do with spirituality that may be able to help you, that might resonate with you, maybe inspire you. So, um, start from the beginning. Years ago, I used to work at an Office Max, and uh, one day, this older woman came in. She uh, seemed to be maybe 70, possibly 80, I don't know. And uh, she came in to use the fax machine, and she needed help, so I helped her. And uh, after um, everything she needed to do was complete, I was uh, ringing her up. And she looked at me very, I don't want to say strangely, but she looked at me like she knew me, almost. And uh, as I was ringing her up, I couldn't help but notice this, and I'm just like, uh, is everything all right, ma'am? And she's like, you are a young person, yet you have the spiritual knowledge of someone two times your age. And I'm like, excuse me? She's like, you have a lot of spiritual knowledge and you use this knowledge to help people. And it was indeed true. I knew a lot about the spirituality more than most people. A lot of people who had questions at like, say work or school, I was able to answer them. And as for the helping people part, um, anytime someone needed, you know, if they wanted my prayers, I gave it. If they wanted some spells, I'd help them out. And, you know, I really did want to help educate people and just do my best to help people with my knowledge. So, yes, it was true. And I'm like, I was surprised because it's not like I had my Office Max uniform on. I wasn't wearing any pendants or necklaces. I wasn't talking about spirituality in any way, not with my coworker, not at all that day. So I was like, how do you know this? And she's like, oh, sorry, I am a Reiki master. And I haven't really studied Reiki really that much. I am i haven't even gotten around to reading the books I bought on it, but I do know it has something to do with energy, with working with energy in the body. So I don't think I'm a strict Reiki, but I, I at least know some fundamentals, I would, I would assume. But I would have to read more on it just to make sure. But she was a teacher. She owned a, uh, a Reiki uh, sanctuary. Um, and it was, you know, really neat. You know, I was kind of awestruck, you know, because I haven't really met that many people who were you know, of higher power or higher knowledge. She uh, told me, she's like, yeah, the reason you have so much knowledge is because in one of your past lives, you were a very powerful shaman. And I'm like, is that so? And uh, she didn't really go any further than that, but I, I, I had a gut feeling that she was telling the truth. Um... She wasn't crazy. I, I do feel like she was telling the truth. As an empath, you know, I learned to feel when people are lying to me and I didn't feel anything. So I was like, wow, that's uh, incredible. And she's like, do you mind if we try something? I'm like, uh, what do you mean? She um, had me get a scrap piece of paper and... We did a little test. I believe it had something to do with our birth dates, our years of birth. And we got hers and mine together, and we subtracted them. She already had her number, but she wanted to see what ours was. And we had the exact same number. I believe it was like 62 or something, and she's like, that's incredible. I'm like, what does this all mean? Because I, I'm i not really um, a huge numerologist. I'm, I've only worked briefly with numerology. And she's like, well, 
we have the exact same numbers, and what that means is, um, this proves that you have so much knowledge, you know, she's like, I believe she's like, I'm like 72 or something, and she's like, I spent so many years studying and practicing this under a, uh, a, a mentor, and she's like, do you have a mentor? I'm like, no, um, I read books, I, I go on websites, I'm, I'm teaching myself. And she's like, this is incredible. You have so much knowledge and I am way, way older than you. And for us to have the same number, that means we are equals in spirituality, which that, that kind of gave me an ego boost that day. I, I'm not going to lie. You know, it, it really validated a lot of the questions I had about myself and um, if the knowledge I had was really legitimate. Was it something I was making up, you know, in my mind? Was it something I was imagining? Am I, did I have the answers? Did I not? Was I wrong? This at least gave me a little bit of validation. Now, most recently, I've been going through uh, past life regression through meditation and uh, I haven't gotten anything close to uh, the shaman uh, past life, if it did exist. Not saying she was lying, but um, I'm just trying to see if I can get any, you know, pick up on it. Um, but I do believe a lot of my past lives have to do with magic. So that's why I'm really big into it. And that's why this knowledge, it comes to me like... Like I already knew it or studied it before. Um, she was supposed to send me a manual, a handbook, a Reiki handbook. She's like, um, I actually have a handbook. Would you like a copy? And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. She's like, uh, give me your email. So I gave her my email and uh, she's like, all right, as soon as I get my computer fixed, I'm going to send it to you. I waited. I never received it, and um, she never went back into the store again. I never saw her again. Uh, so I don't know if something happened to her. Hopefully not. She was pretty old, uh, or maybe she didn't. Never got her computer fixed, or maybe she forgot. It's possible she forgot. But uh, yeah, I never received it. But luckily, I, I have recently bought quite a few books on the subject of Reiki and chakras. So um, hopefully, once I get around to reading that, I can at least get a little bit more knowledge about Reiki. And once I do, I will definitely be sharing that with you guys. But um, yeah, she never came back into the store again. And But that was a really interesting experience that I have to share with people because it was so incredible and validating that it made me feel so much better about myself and it made me feel like okay I'm not crazy I'm not one of those people who thinks they have answers but it really doesn't this is just theories I'm spouting out and you know who knows I could be the raving lunatic for all I know and she helped me get a lot of validation I've had brief experiences with people who have been um, studying the craft for years, but I have never had a, a full-on teacher. No one in my family studies magic. Um, they're more mostly on the Christian side, if any. Uh, but definitely, we're not uh, an entirely religious family. So I pretty much had to learn this myself, and I'm still learning. Uh, I've got a lot to learn. And uh, that's the whole point of the this channel is to, um, I'm trying to gain as many answers to the questions you guys have for those who want to study magic or for those who already are and are a little lost. So that's the point of this, trying to help you guys. That's why I have so much literature. If you, if you guys can see, that's only half of the bookshelf. The rest is all full of all kinds of books on witchcraft, wicca. Uh, fairy magic, um, ghosts, uh, myth uh, mythological creatures, gods and goddesses, herbs, aromatherapy, chaos magic, astral projection, and so much more. I've got tons here. I've I've got 
all kinds of books on it. Tons, tons, tons that I am all over it. Uh, a lot I gotta read. I am a collector of books. It's just I take my time reading them. Um, but uh, that is pretty much the whole story. It's a short story, I know, but it's definitely something that I hope um, helps you guys out. Um, helps you understand a little bit about, you know, those who felt like I did, who were studying magic but weren't sure if they were getting the right answers or if they felt like they they knew magic but were worried that they weren't doing it right or were worried that, you know, they were doing the wrong kind of magic and were doing more harm than good. I used to have all those thoughts stuck in my head and she helped me ease my mind and helped me focus more on my magic and helped me f like try to figure out who I was, whether in a past life or this life. So that's what I, I, that's the kind of the lesson I learned from the whole thing. But it was so interesting. I, I was dumbfounded. She told me she could see chakras. She could partially read minds. She was able to see things that other people couldn't see, like spirits. And she told me something, oh yes, I almost forgot. She also told me something very, very interesting. She told me the names of three particular uh, angels that were surrounding me. Here, I always thought that if people had guardian angels, they only got like one at a time. She's like, no, you have three powerful angels surrounding you. And I'm like, really? Do you know their names? She's like... Saint Mikael, which is Saint Michael. She told me he likes to be called Saint Mikael, his original uh, pronunciation of the name. So every time I call upon him, I say Saint Mikael. Uh, Saint Raphael, or Saint Raphael. And she also told me of this angel that he seems to be a, a more recent one, Saint Germain. He's the angel of the purple flame, the healing flame. So, uh, I'm like, wow, you can see them? She's like, yes, they are surrounding you and protecting you, and they've been with you for a long, long time. And I'm like, that's incredible. So, anytime I call upon my guardian angels, I call upon those three specifically. And they always come. They always do. I can't see them in my with my physical eyes, but I see them, I feel their energy, and I see them with my mind's eye, my third eye. So, um, that was a, another great thing that I was like, wow, she's so knowledgeable. It's incredible. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the story. It was an incredible thing to happen to me. And, uh, it's an interesting story. At least, I think so. Alright guys, that's uh, that's it for this little story time. Feel free to join me next time on Spiritual Essence for more uh, episodes for spiritual topics. If you guys have any spiritual topics you want me to speak of, please put it down in the comment section down below and I'll see if, I can, uh, if I'm knowledgeable enough to make a video on it. Um, but any comments, questions, concerns, of course, put it down below. Uh, feel free to subscribe and like this video and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my new videos. All right, guys, see you later.